Hello. Welcome to Marcus and Joanna's Seaside Fish and Chip Review. Today, I ventured from the norm and we chose Beals. So I went in and they've got it all done up like Fort Knox in there with these big perspex screens and all. You can't stand anywhere too long otherwise you get shouted at. So I went in and said, right, can I have fish and chips twice? Lightly battered. Thank you very much. And um, one comparison I will already uh, tell you from uh, Finnegan's is Beals was a couple of quid cheaper. So, we were sat in the car. If you look down there, Joanna's still ticking it, tucking in, ticking, tucking, ticking, and tucking into a box of fish and chips. Now, I had fish and chips. Um, first impressions were it was um, a nice piece of fish and a fairly small amount of chips. Joanna's thoughts on that? Good, brilliant. Um, the ch <laughs> the chips were tasty. They were better than Finnegan's. When I say that, oh, I just did. But then I think Finnegan's were having a bit of an off day the way we, day we went. Because they're usually better than that, but they were a bit sort of. Uh, but these were nice, although it wasn't a vast amount of them. The fish, lightly battered, but not as lightly battered as Finnegan's. But it was nice and white and fishy and fluffy. And go on, you want to say something? A nice fish. A nice fish. But it's a lot greasier than Finnegan's. They're both freshly cooked, mind. But like, yeah. Yeah, a very nice white, you know, cod inside. I mean, it's for a light batter. It's not exactly a light batter, is it? Is there quite a lot of batter on there? Mm. Even though you asked for lightly battered. It's light, but it's no, it's, it's quite light, but it's um, is it like fish though? It's fat, yeah. It's a nice fish, it's a nice, nice fish. fish, very nice fish, nice fish, a lot fattier than batter, fattier batter fish, nice fish mm. though. What are your chips? What do you think of the chips? I like them, but I prefer them to the other one. Bear in mind now, it's not, it is a direct comparison, but they might have been having a sh shit day because I quite like Finnegan's chips usually. Well, I know that. They're renowned for their cod um, beels, but I have to say I like Finnegan's better. Okay. I preferred the chips today. Um, the fish for me was okay, nice and tasty, but too... too for, I asked for lightly battered and it wasn't lightly battered. It's extremely lightly battered if you go to Finnegan's. They call it a shell, don't they? Yeah. A cod in a shell, like a, like a hermit. So, I mean, this is your traditional sort of fish and chips, but Finnegan's are making it sort of healthy. Yeah. You know, the chips are a lot drier. Everything has got less fat. Right. So I like that. Whereas you, whereas you like more a fattier sort of chip. Than no, I just like chips to taste nice and a bit more like they were today. They were really good, I thought. Good chips. So, Finnegan's chips, I give them, no, sorry, Beal, Beal's chips, I give them a nine. 10 if there were more of them. So 9 for me. Yeah. What, Shut for, up. For the fish as well? No, just for the chips. What do you give for the chips? Well, we didn't do that, did we? We'd give the yeah, we did. Overall, didn't we? No, I gave 8 for the chips last time and 10 for the fish. What did I give? 8 and 10. What, 10 for the fish? Yeah. So what do we give them for the chips? I give them a 9 for the chips because I like the chips. Oh, I give them 7 for the chips. Really? Yeah, I don't like them as much as the... Really? <laughs> All right. And what do you give for the fish? Eight. So, okay. I, I like Finnegan's. Joe is a purveyor of Finnegan's. I'm a purveyor of ultimate filth. <laughs> Nothing yeah. wrong with this. It's beautiful. I just, when you, you know, I just do the Finnegan's. I just have a, a, have a chip. I'm going to have a chip. Oh, nice chips. It's not. It's, it's fattier, isn't it? No. It's more too. The drier. The other one's oilier. No, anyway, just, we're talking too long about the chips. <laughs>
We're losing customers. Perfectly, perfectly nice big white cord belt right there. <laughs> I thought we were going to see something else. Racist. Mm. Right. So Finnegan's have won so far. Beals. I, I, I prefer Finnegan's slightly. Because they got a bit of 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 they were having a shit day for chips that day because I know they're better than that. And the fish is nicer. Now, so ultimately, ultimately, we think the Finningers is better, but Beals is cheaper. It is. So, a couple of quid cheaper. Is it worth paying a couple of quid more? There's the dilemma. <laughs> what are you going to do now? <laughs> huh? Throwing a right stone in the spanner, haven't we? There's nothing wrong with this cod. It's a beautiful cod. I th I'd probably pay the extra couple of quid for Finningers. Because I'm not a tight shit. What about you? I we know how tight you are. <laughs> I like Finnegan's. Right, okay. So Finnegan's are won so far. Beals, nice try, but not quite. So there we have it. That was Marcus and Joanna's Seaside Chip Shop Review. Notice Charlie's not with us today because he's been up the mountain and um, he's tuckered up sleeping in the house. So... Stay tuned for the next one, where we probably try Franco's next, I think, by, um, by, by Griffin Park. Okay. I've heard good things, very good things. So Franco's, we're coming for you, sunshine. Make sure you go you fresh oil in the fryer and on it. Beals, nice try. It was all right. Chips were good, but mm, Finnegan's. There was nothing wrong with it. That was excellent. Yeah, excellent. No, it wasn't. It was all right. Oh, it's hard to... Listen, do you know what? It's really hard to judge fish and chips because, like I said, the other one, it's fish and chips. What, what can go wrong? Well, it can. It depends what you want. It depends if you want to so, so more fatty, or you want right, to... Okay, so I, I, prefer a few, I prefer a few more chips and, and, the, and the batter to be a little less greasy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then that would be fine. It's, it's quite greasy, the batter. Yeah. Just dry it a bit more on fish and chips, really. Yeah. There we go. All the best. <laughs> we'll see you next week.